Hello and welcome to the Chagas Pig Development Department. My name is Tomás Ryan. I'm a research clinician and farm manager here in this unit. The research facility we have at present was opened in June of last year, 2016, and is a 200 cell fully integrated facility. It is the most modern and state-of-the-art research facility in the world at this time. Today in the video you will find out about the areas of research we are currently conducting in Moorpark. You will get an update from the postgrad students who are currently researching in their specific areas. And you will find out a little bit about what they do and how they do it and the results they hope to achieve. We hope you enjoy the tour. optimizing sow production by increasing the number of viable pig was born and reducing pre-weaning mortality through nutrition. Um, and my current trial is looking at increasing um, fiber levels and the inclusion of an L-carnitine supplement during gestation. So these are the gills that we supplemented. So like I said, we're looking at optimizing sow production. So we hope to aim for a litter size of about 14 piglets live born per sow. Um, and then you hope that they were born about 1 to 1.5 kilos at birth. So my trial followed the animals from birth until the finishing stage. So these guys are my finishing pigs um, and they're going to get factory soup. Hi, I'm Osea and I'm working in the Octopic project and uh, after Hazel has managed to increase the litter size and the quality of the piglets, I have to come up with management strategies to allow all these piglets to reach a decent, a good weaning weight and to survive, to optimize their survival. Uh, those, ma those management strategies can be fostering to a nerve cell, which is a cell that uh, is already uh, in an advanced stage of lactation and has her piglet either weaned or transferred to a nerve cell, or artificial rearing means uh, removing all the litter from the cell and feeding them with milk replacer until weaning. And finally, uh, working on the very low uh, burst weight piglets, less than 1.1 kilo, and I'm giving to them an energy supplement uh, commercially available and I'm comparing it to giving coconut uh, water or not. And hopefully uh, one or all of these management strategies will optimize growth and survival of piglets until winning. We have six different diets, they're all lined up here and they include different types of ingredients like beans and rapeseed and barley and feed them to the pigs for 10 weeks to see which diet works the best. I'm hand feeding my pigs every day, twice a day. They get two scoops of meal, they're roughly about three weeks into the finishing, so another eight, nine weeks and they'll be done. So I weigh my pigs every two weeks to get the back of their progress. Which diet is working the best? Over 70% of pigs in Ireland are fed using liquid feeding systems where their feed comes into contact with water in a central mixing tank and it's sent out to their troughs from a computer. I'm looking into the hygiene of liquid feeding systems at the moment. So as you can see here, these are all plates. Um, so I go out to a farm and take feed samples, different commercial units, and I'm just plating them for different types of bacteria to see feed quality. And this is just me counting my plates as I do every week, looking at the bacteria and I take a note of it here. As you probably know, the feed represents uh, up to 70% of the costs of uh, producing a, a pig. And uh, therefore, in, uh, in this project, we are, we are looking at uh, feeding strategies that uh, will increase feed efficiency. And uh, we are using uh, the supplementation of uh, feed enzymes to, to achieve this, this goal. 
within uh, supplementing different uh, types of enzymes individually or, um, or in combination in order to increase nutrient digestibility and modulate the intestinal microbiota of the, of the pigs. And uh, at the end of uh, this project, we will do a cost-benefit uh, uh, calculation to, to see in, uh, in which situations uh, the enzymes work uh, best. My name is uh, Maria Kost. I'm a PhD student in Chagas. I'm working with uh, Edgar Garcia Manzanilla. My PG project is on feeding strategies and management in Irish pig farms. So some of you already know me, I was visiting uh, pig farms last year. The objective was to collect data on the biosecurity practices, feeding strategies, use of antibiotics, vaccination and genetics in Irish pig farms. Now what we are doing is putting all that data against the Chegas key profit monitor data, so the performance data that the, the national database has, and try to understand who are the best farmers regarding key uh, performance parameters and then with information collected try to understand why were those the best. So what we want to do is be able to tell or to describe what are the best farmers doing so we can take practical information to give back to other farmers and so improve all the big performance. Hello, I'm Alessia and my project is on feeding strategies and management poor welfare, production diseases and antimicrobial usage. We carry out a study to evaluate the effect of removal of feed medication on welfare, health and performance of the pigs. But we also interview pig vets and pig farmers in order to better elucidate what are those potential barriers for the reduction of antibiotics and also those social drivers for antimicrobial prescribing and medication behaviors. The project is also looking at different management practices and different strategies to apply in order not only to improve the health and the welfare of the pigs, but also to reduce the amount of medication used. My trial is optimizing the lifetime performance of Gil. So these pigs are currently seven weeks old. They will be moved into the finisher stage at approximately 12 weeks old where they will be given extra minerals to improve their bones and their feet. Um, here they are receiving different mineral diets to try and improve their limb and bone quality. Um, we are currently doing cortisol sampling. So we collect the cortisol in their saliva. We allow them chew on it for around 60 seconds usually. Once we have gathered enough, we can then analyze it in the lab. And here we can test then their stress level. So we are also doing lesion scoring and locomotion scoring. So we are testing how well they are walking. Um, we are hoping that the minerals will add to improving their quality of life. My project is to try to tackle the issue of tail biting. Uh, we know that uh, there's many factors behind tail biting and our project focuses on adequate uh, provision of enrichment. So we, uh, according to a, a survey we did last year, actually a lot of Irish farmers told us that they are actually willing to use wood as a, a form of enrichment. It is cheaply available, it's locally sourced. So we're comparing different types of wood to see well, the quality, different qualities of wood, will, whether it will affect their durability. We also try to compare the wood with the rubber toy and see which one is more effective in reduce, reducing tail biting, ear biting, this kind of abnormal behaviors. Uh, enrichment is, is very important for pigs and also it is quite important to uh, meet the uh, European legislation needs. Hi, so my project is looking at visual and digital tools for knowledge transfer. So tools like videos, infographics, posters, etc. that will enhance advisory and education services. The project will determine the best tools to develop by holding focus groups with farmers, farm staff and advisors. A sample of the tools will be developed and trialled with the focus groups and templates and processes will be designed for future development of the tools.